Hello and welcome back to Dr. How. Today I'm going to be talking about regeneration. In fact, I'm talking about the third doctor's regeneration. Now, what happens is he comes back from Metabilis 3 and he falls on the ground. Basically, he's dying. So, Sarah Jane Smith is the companion of the day and the focus is really on her in this scene. She's the emotional bridge between one doctor and the next. So, we want to keep the focus on her and one of the things that happens here, unfortunately, is that the hand uh, on John Pertwee's chest there falls off. And so that slightly distracts the audience. Um, and we're actually going to fix that. And we're not just fixing it because it's a distraction there. We're actually going to fix it because we want to put in some en enhanced graphics. Uh, specifically later on when she says, look, Brigadier, look, I think it's starting. We actually, in the, in the televised version, we never actually saw anything. Uh, we didn't see what she was looking at. But what would be nice to do is to insert a scene, something like this, which shows uh, the Doctor starting to glow, the regeneration starting. Um, so, now this particular shot was not one that I created. This is actually from another YouTuber. But I'm uh, using that to demonstrate the sort of thing that can be done. If we can have a zoomed in shot of the Doctor uh, with his hands there starting to glow, uh, that would be really nice. So in order to facilitate that, we've got to keep that hand uh, from falling off in the first place. And so I'm going to use three uh, techniques to do that. Um, so if we go to GIMP here, you can see that what I've done is I've divided it into three different uh, sections. There's a section where Sarah Jane just stands up and the hand doesn't really move during that section. Uh, so there's not much to be done there. Then there's a second section where the hand starts to fall off and uh, it falls in front of Sarah Jane's uh, stockings there. And so we need to fix that and we'll use three techniques to do that. And then there's a third section where Essentially, Sarah Jane is now fully standing and uh, John Pertwee is not moving. And in that, that section, we don't have to do very much except have a, an overlay of the hand. So if we go back to this second uh, video here, what, what I'm going to do is show you the three tricks that I've used. So the first trick is to get an isolated shot of the hand. Um, we basically go to a layer here which has um, we actually add a, a transparency layer, we select the uh, erase tool and we essentially erase off everything except for the hand. And so then what that gives us is this uh, isolated hand. Uh, with the checkerboard is the, in, is the transparent section. So that's one thing that we're going to overlay onto the scene and that will actually cover up some of the hand falling off. Uh, the second thing that we do is we have to actually erase the hand, where the hand is falling off, we have to in-paint it. So we have to do a bit of painting to make it look like the sock is there. And the third trick that we're going to use is once Sarah Jane is actually standing, her, her legs don't move too, too much, we can actually take a section from later on in the scene and simply erase some of the earlier sections, uh, earlier images. We erase around that sock there and that allows that later section to shine through. And so eventually what we end up with is uh, a scene which where the hand doesn't fall off and, and you can see that that actually works very well. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Howe. Goodbye.